We want to kind of widen out our scope of coverage here. We're going to send it over to Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmonton in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. Jeff, uh, you've been looking back at the weather around the time of this crash. Yeah, something that we want to watch too closely because there was some cloud cover that we've had across our area. The clouds are around 3,200 feet in the sky. We had a little bit of wind, but not a lot of wind. So let's look back. The observation that I have is from 7.40 p.m. We just heard from Brett saying around 7.30, so we're within roughly 10 minutes of the time of the crash. Uh, at 7.40 from Wallops Flight Facility down here, that's where the weather sensor uh, gave us all this information, so not too far away from Wildcat Marsh. 52 degrees was the temperature. The ground wind was at 12 miles an hour from the south. Clouds were at 3,200 feet. The 8 p.m. balloon launch that we had also from the same area measured wind speeds at 3,200 feet at about 40 miles an hour from the west and at 10,000 feet at 35 miles an hour. It sounds a lot stronger than at the ground, but not extremely stronger. So the wind speeds were basically kind of in that normal level. No rain in the area, no thunderstorms in the area. One thing that is unfortunate, though, that water temperature at 46 degrees. So going down into the marsh or into the water, that can set hypothermia very quickly.